Well, hello there, Polygoners. Today, I've got something really out of the ordinary, at least for us. Never done this before. Wish me luck. So, probably going to cast maybe five to seven games um, in this session. Release them, you know, one a day until we run out. It's typically how we do this. But the difference is, this is going to be our first ever drunk cast. Actually picked up a half gallon of good old Canadian whiskey. This is the apple flavored kind. That's why you can see my background through it. Thought that would be, you know, pretty cool. It, 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 it looks awesome. Anyways, I've already had a few. Gonna keep drinking throughout the casting. And uh, we'll just see how hammered I can get before the end. So, you know, make sure you're tuning in every day to just see just how plastered I end up getting. Well, we've got a really awesome... ZVZ for you guys. It's going to be a real, real good time. A lot of fun between two of what can be arguably uh, said to be two of definitely North America's favorite players. I don't really want to tease it anymore, so I'll just jump right on into it. Here on the bottom right hand side of Ascension 2 Ire, in the blue Azurg Trunks, he plays for Root Gaming. He is known as the Intelligent Zerg. It's Nero. Wah! Give a cheer for Nero. Here on the top left hand side in the red Zerg trunks. He just had some lings popping because he went for a 12 pull. He's up to his same old usual shenanigans. It's no regret. But he's on his account called Same Old Songs. So no regret is for sure a player that is known for cheesing he's basically sponsored by Kraft macaroni and cheese and he's a very solid player definitely at the top of his game right now i love uh, a lot of what he's done since going to korea we'll see if neuro knows how to handle this or if no regret can actually get some lethal damage done now the initial stage of this attack uh, just sends the lings. You see he's got the extractor. This could have been a little earlier for a little more whoo, punch, but he got the, the hatchery a little bit quicker. So basically the goal here is to reset this expansion and get his own expansion up a little earlier. Neuro trying to buy some time, sending a single drone now and there to defend. I don't know if that's quite enough to defend that. Maybe, you know, four to six drones might have been a little bit better, but Neuro's got some great control. No regret does too. We'll see how this ends up playing out. And it looks like <gasps> Queen does pop. He's going to go ahead and kill off that Queen. I think he was really waiting for that Queen to finish before he killed that off. Really good getting the maximum amount of damage there. And he can just retreat and kill that off. Boom. Oh, a little sloppy there. Getting a little extra hits on his own links. But he does ultimately kill off that hatchery. And Nero now has to make a decision. Does he take this base? It looks like he will. But he could also go for some kind of attack of his own, yet he's not been mining gas, he doesn't have any higher tech options, so it may be in his best interest to go ahead and do the economic thing. Nice little surround here by No Regret against Nero's link, or Queen, but the Lings of No of look, Nero going to kill off the Lings of No Regret. No Regret going to try and get up here, get a little bit of scouting information, does see the spine crawler. Spine crawler going to do a lot of damage, but he gets in there pretty deep, sees that there is a no gas and no follow-up tech as well. Ling speed just going to be completing now for Nero, while uh, No Regret going to be quite a bit behind on that upgrade, and that could uh, pay dividends. Wings with speed a lot better at getting exactly uh, the right amount of damage and like perfect surrounds against units. Um, when you have a group of lings without speed and a group of lings with speed out on the field like this, it really doesn't matter like straight up damage for damage. But if you can run away and then just like use your opponent's bad concave against him, you can get a lot of attacks in and then just retreat, reset that uh, that advantage. Bainley Nest going to be starting and now for same old songs. And as Single Tongs swings off of the creep, that is going to give an opportunity for Nero to get in here onto the mineral line, kills off two drones, in the process going to get these lings right on back out. Actually, thought about going back out, goes up the ramp, gonna think about coming in here and sniping this building, actually choosing to ignore that, um, and trying to get back out. Nice surround here. Oh, but Nero greased those lings, they slipped right on through, yet uh, No Regret does kill them off there in the end. To be honest, I feel like I've casted this game before. I know I've not, but like this game, 
between these two players, I know they've been in this situation countless times before because, like, th this is very, very eerily similar to some other games between them. I think it was Jim Rising, actually, instead of No Regret, but either way, very aggressive players against Nero. Anyways, a good little uh, Roach Warren slash Evolution Chamber wall here. Ling's going to be uh, trying to open this area here for the Banelings to get in, and the Banelings, of course, will do amazingly against that Spine Crawler. As you can see, that Spine Crawler is going to almost completely be erased if those Banelings went for it, but instead, choosing to go for the drones. I don't know if that's the best decision. He only uses one of them, though. And keeping these alive to deal with any... Oh, yeah, just like that. Dealt with a lot of the lings on the field, but a lot of those drones as well. That was a really good pickup there with the baneling. But some lings are going to be popping now, and he does not have the baneling in uh, a position where he could actually do uh, some massive damage to those lings. So, eh, I would have kept one of those banelings alive. Now, he is morphing another baneling uh, for exactly that purpose. And at this point, Nero has walled himself out of his own base, effectively also walling out... Uh, no regret, but no regret peeling off a couple of links to come attack this wall in, even before that battle was over. And we've got Nero trying to get in here with just a couple of links to wall this out, but eventually it will not hold. That thing is leakier than a leaky faucet. And uh, Nero giving up the GG wall done in typical Nero well-mannered fashion. I know most players would be super salty after a loss like that, but Nero is, as always, ever the gentleman. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. We are doing a drunk cast. If you like this type of content, let us know in the comments below. We will do more of these if you so desire, but we have to know that you like it in order to do that. So leave us a like on the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell so you get notifications. And if you're really feeling uh, particularly supportive, visit us on Patreon at patreon.com slash polygon sc2. There's a ton of rewards you can earn there. Check it out to find out more. Guys, I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. Shout out my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not gonna teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.